Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for clicking on this video and spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. Today, I'm in Nampa, Idaho, and we're visiting United Family Homes. And this gorgeous mid-sized home right behind me is built by Kit Custom Home Builders, and I can't wait to get going. So if you want to know more about it, let's go. And a beautiful day it is out here in Nampa, Idaho, everybody. Thank you for clicking on the video again and joining me. I really appreciate you stopping by. Take a look at this exterior. I mean, that window alone, that is absolutely gorgeous. And those columns right next to that, that is a nice design choice that, that I appreciate. I hope you do too. But take a look at that. Just soak it in. That is a gorgeous mid-level home that we're going to take a look at. This is the Pinehurst 2501 built by Kit Custom Home Builders and it is a three bed, two bath. It sits at 1,174 square feet and the dimensions are 44 feet by 26 feet 8 inches. The starting price for this home is just about $153,000 and ding dong anybody home? Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Welcome to the interior, everybody. Walking in, we are going to take a look at this house. So let me let you know, first and foremost, that the side walls here are seven and a half feet starting at the sides, and then they go up to a th cathedral ceiling. I'm loving that little niche they have right there. More decorative. I don't think you can fit a TV there, but, you know, you could always try, right? Uh, the size of this living room, everybody, is 18 feet, 9 inches by 13 feet, 4 inches. And take a look at that window letting all of that gorgeous natural light in. I am loving that. But hey, before we go any further, do me a favor, hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. And if you feel like it, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted. You'll be able to follow along and see all these home tours as soon as I capture them. And now we're walking in to the kitchen area and the dining area and it's situated nicely in the home um, just here off to the side. It's not necessarily totally open concept so there is like a little bit of a separation there. The size of the dining room I'm not sure but it's rather spacious here. I'm sliding through this table to take a look at the rest of the uh, kitchen and as you see pretty decent amount of space. It has an eat-in counter. We see seat three seats there but you could Really about two would be totally comfortable. So, you know, and this home, as you see, is set up with the back black, excuse me, the black appliance package, which, in my opinion, actually goes with the color facade of this whole home, which I like that. The countertop, nice, standard. We have a white sink there with a pull-down faucet. That's pretty cool. Big window right, be right behind your sink that does not open, just to let you know. And then right over here, I do like the look of those cupboards. Those are adjustable shelves. Taking a look over here, you see your glass top um, oven stove combo and your microwave range hood, which makes it convenient. Um, and let's see how much room we have in the drawer. Pretty good amount of room in the drawers right there. They are soft clothes, which is a, a nice convenience. No little ones are going to get their fingers smashed, which is that's always cool. The cupboards aren't so much um, soft clothes, but the drawers are. So, but plenty of room, plenty of storage. Um, so far, so good. You even have some more storage over here in uh, the island. So, um, I think, you know what I mean, for the space and the size of this home, so far this kitchen has more than ample um, storage capabilities, but wait, there's more. Um, right behind this, this looks like a, a pretty much an unassuming cupboard, you know, wall, but it's actually a smuggler's pantry or a pirate's pantry. There's a couple different names for it, but you push back that right there and you have an entire pantry to yourself. As you can see, we have four good um, shelves here in the first part and then they have a second part here separated by a door with even more storage capabilities. I mean take a look at that. If you need to store any kind of food this is the home to do it and this is more than ample space I would think for for anything even if you don't want to store food in here. It's big. It's nice. So just to let you know, two the registers in this home are on the floor. We'll be seeing that pretty soon here. And one thing that I did notice about this home is all of their like electrical outlets and their um, light switches are a dark brown color. So 
at first I was like, heh, but I kind of learned to like that, actually. I, I, it has a little bit of a color pop, which is cool. And as we come into the utility room, you see here, right there, is your water access. You're going to need your quarter-inch driver, screwdriver, to get that out. Right there, plenty of room for your side-by-sides. And we have your shelving um, right up top there and a uh, coat rod so you can hang some of your delicate items and let them air dry. We're going to look in here. Good cupboard. More linen storage or cleaning storage, really, if you need you know that stuff. So... That's that. That's pretty cool. And then right behind us is that's where your air conditioning unit is. And, um, yeah, it's a nice situated spot in the home, I'd have to say. And take a look at that. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to make our way to the guest areas. But, you know, in the meantime, if you want to know more about this home, there are some f um, options and features that you can add and, and, and take away. Um, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a 3D tour, see some more photos, check out some more videos, but most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and go see it in person. So now we are walking into the first guest room. And as you can see by the colored outlets, we have plenty of outlets in the room. Uh, the size of this room is 13 feet, four inches by 10 feet, more than ample space for a queen bed, maybe even a king, not quite sure. And let's see what's behind this door, which of course is your closet, and a nice size closet, nice little walk, semi walk-in closet. You have your, your your shelving and stuff there. I say semi walk-in because I can put one foot in there. It's a full walk-in if you could put two. Just kidding. <laughs> so far, everybody, what do you think about this home? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And now we're gonna go check out the second guest room here, and this guest room is just a touch bigger. This one is 13 feet 4 inches by 10 feet 8 inches. So this one is 8 inches bigger than the other room. So just to let you know that. Nice big windows letting that natural light in. The sun's on that side so I have them really close. So you know but even there you have a good amount of light coming in here. And right behind here it's pretty much a carbon copy of the other closet. This is where they're storing everything that goes with the home. So once it uh, goes to its final delivery, there's, you know, extra pieces and, and, and doodads that help you put the home together. Make sure you're all set. You don't need to go to Home Depot for anything. Now let's go check out this guest bath, which I like. Now, walking in here, the one thing that I like is this one piece um, bath and shower combo. Um, nice basic up top but what i like about it is it is a very deep um tub and it's a different design i like that right there of course that is where your toilet is situated it is a an elongated low flush commode i guess um and then right over here we have a lit there we go with lit mirror so you can really see yourself in the morning getting ready so uh, nice little backsplash there. Let's go on through this house and let's check out the other side. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know. Um, so far, so good. Like this is a great mid-level home. It's not too big. It's not too small. There's not, you know, a lot of nooks and crannies to clean up. So uh, this home is would be great for a mini range of different needs and people, in my personal opinion. Um, you know, I do like the way cathedrals up. Uh, you know, personally, I like flat ceilings a little better, but I do like the way this goes up. I mean, you start at seven and a half and you go up to, I think it's like eight, eight and a half in the middle. And that's really cool. Um, the size of the primary room is uh, 14 feet, eight inches by 13 feet, four inches. And we're going to take a look at the closet here. We got dual doors here opening it up. One thing I did want to mention that I haven't uh, mentioned earlier is that all the doors in this home have a clearance of 36 inches. So all the doors are 36 inches. Um, so if you need any kind of sizing references, that might help, I hope. And now let's go check out the primary bath. Now we have the same lit mirror right there. We have a single vanity with a drawer bank of three right there. Your same commode from the other room, a nice, Nice window, letting that natural light in. It's frosted. Um, and then this tub is totally different. This is an oversized, um, you know, oval tub that is absolutely just huge. Um, I wouldn't mind, you know, sitting there and, and resting and relaxing after a long day for sure. Uh, but 
This is your primary bath here. Looking pretty good. Nice. And then one one thing too is it has the access to your uh, utility room. So that makes it semi-convenient, you know, going through your master to drop off your dirty clothes or vice versa or coming in and taking, you know, everything off from your hard day and then just going right to your room. So, you know, that's an option for you. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. But, you know, this home was rather nice, rather spacious for being a mid-level home. What do you think? Let me know. Um, and, you know, I'll see you guys on the next home tour wherever that's going to be. But, you know, of course, thank you for joining me, everybody. I truly appreciate all the support that I get from the channel. But until next time, I hope you live smarter, you choose manufactured, and travel easy. We'll see you next time, everyone. Have a great day.